Hello everybody and welcome back to the boys channel. Today we have a special one vid for you. Vi video. We you. are cooking dinner, but not just any dinner. We're making a delicious chunky beef and Guinness pie. Yummy. And then we're gonna follow it with a chocolate cake. Except there's one simple difference. Yeah. We're using power tools. We're so. using power tool cooking. Power tools, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we've never used these power tools before, so we're gonna have- We're gamers. Yeah. They have everything here. What are we doing, mate? We're uh, getting some cooking supplies. Obviously, where do you go when you want to cook something? Bunnings, otherwise known as Home Depot. We've got all kinds of stuff here. Oh, look at all this wood. Would you like some? Get some gloves. How about some mini grippers? <laughs> Just kidding, that would be silly. We're gonna need gloves for cooking, oh, no so we don't dirty our hands. Does it say anything else in front of that? Uh, heat proof gloves. <laughs> oh shit, how about these? No, I don't think any of these are heat proof. Go to the welder section. Oh f where the f do we find hammers and shit? In the tool shop, breed Where's the tool shop? It's that way. Oh, we'll go that way. Oh, there's so many old people here. Oh, here we go. Look. Jesus Christ. What do you need? A drill. Well, do we need a f***ing expensive one? But do we need one that's gonna last? Do we? Yeah. How long is it gonna, how long do we need it for? Like, how long is this video? Oh, Zito, there you go. This is the absolute banger brand. Do we need a saw? The saws. Doesn't say saw on the thing. Do you want a saw? Yeah, we'll get a saw. Oh, these look pretty resistant to heat. It wasn't me, I didn't kill her, the glove fits. Uh, I can't get through here. <laughs> what are those? Yes, get them. These only have mild chemical splash resistance. <laughs> These are plastic gloves. They're going to melt to our hands if we touch anything warm. Mm. Some masks, safety glasses so we don't get any food in our eyeballs. I don't want to get ice and sugar in our nose. You get you a pair too, in case there's any hot liquids. Drill paint mixer. Trowel. We need a blowtorch. Well, like one of these? I don't know what a trowel is. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, brother. True. Oh, there's a tank included. Look. There you go. Here we go. We've got a blowtorch. Hammer. That's a small shovel. small shovel. This is the smallest one I could find. No, they have like little garden shovels, dude. Like these ones. Oh, okay. If you're really excited, I'm sorry to like bring you down. It's all right. Tell me about it. Are you even checking it off the list? We could be getting the same thing twice. It's a picture. How the f am I supposed to <laughs> check off a picture? Trowel. No, it'll be in the concreting section. Ah. I'm not really sure what a trowel looks like. It's like a little trowel looking thing. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> it's not on the list, but I think it's for the best. Biscuit joiner. Are yeah, we making any? Are we making any biscuits? Heat gun. Oh. Get that one. It's just, it's a hair dryer. It's a, no, it's not a hair dryer. It's a heat gun. Okay. Trowel time. Big trowel. Hmm. Whoa! I found them. The trowels. This is what they look like. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need some WD-40. Why? I need because I need some for my oh. for my shed. Mmm, <laughs> smoky flavour. We need a hammer too. We got a hammer. Did we? Yeah. Got oh. the biggest hammer they had, brother. Oh. Okay. Well, we're good to go. Okay, first things first, put that away. We've got a cement mixer, but today it's a cake mixer, actually. For mixing the cake, yeah. Um, we have uh, that thing. That's also for mixing. This thing. That's a, that's a, what's that for? It's a jackhammer. Yeah, just, yeah. For breaking up the chocolate. For breaking up chocolate. Breaking up Basically everything you can find at your local Home Depot. We have the, the best, freshest ingredients that we could find. Steak. Celery, berries. Picked pick straight from the garden. First things first. Tell me what to, tell me what you want. We oil need ingredients, Chef, oil. Chef boy. Put the oil here. Listen, look at me, look at me. What are we getting first? We're cooking the steak and pie. Oil, give me the oil. This isn't motor oil. No, it's just oil. Oh, yeah. First thing, oil to fry. We need the steak. What are you? That's steak. <laughs> a a um, YouTuber, I'm trying to make a video right I'm now. I'm a steak sandwich. A steak sandwich, chef. Okay, All right. now we need onions. Onions? Yep. And garlic. Oh, garlic. Oh. Celery, carrots. Celery. 
Carrots. Yep. That as well. What? Some, spot, some herbs. There you go, some herbs. Uh, Guinness. One, two, two three, four. Here we go. You're gonna make a great- oh! Oh! You dropped one, idiot! You literally caught it and dropped it. It's on that camera. Give it here. <laughs> oh, Fred. You're gonna make a great drunk dad one day. Uh, stop! Right. Guinness is disgusting. What else? Um, puff pastry. Puff. And eggs and milk. You want eggs? No, don't, no, just hand me the box. No. Oh, why? Go! Oh, no, stop! This is we gotta cook with these. You can't waste them. Yeah, let me oh, let me throw them to you. Let me throw them to you. No, not one at a time. Okay, just... Here you go, here you go. Thank you. Okay, I know you got an egg in your hand. No, I don't. I need the milk. The milk? Yep. Alright, here you go. <laughs> Do you know how many chickens went through the process to birth these? They had fun doing it. We're making a pie first. You need flour? No, that's for the cake. Okay. First things first about cooking, make sure your equipment is preheated so we can fry stuff. Step one, cook. Ooh. <laughs> is this not flammable gas? What's going on? It's not even on. Check prior to use. Did you check it? Yeah. It's there. <laughs> it's right there. It is on you. Oh, it's on now. Now turn it all the way on. Oh, I see it. You were doing a good job. Do you need more paper? What are you doing back there? I'm helping. You're doing a pretty piss poor job of it. Get some air in there. It looks like you're shoveling shit around in your toilet at home. That's... What's where you're pointing that? <laughs> Chef Marley has clearly uh, never used flames before. I've never lit... Like... Now we're cooking with fire, mate. Are we? No. It's going poorly. <laughs> now now what? The flame's growing out. Because we burnt, we burnt tissue paper. What were you trying to cook? A piece of bread? Okay. I like it. I'll see where you're going with this. I'm going somewhere. Yep. Oh, mate, that is fantastic. <sighs> I'm so scared of it. Bang! <laughs> yep, that's exactly what I would have done. That's exactly what I would have done. Why didn't you? Oh, f yeah, that's how we make fire in Australia. Sorry. <laughs> we should get Uber Eats. <laughs> With the tissue paper burnt out. Yeah. How are we going to do it? I don't... What does Alana have? It's a flamethrower. You have a flamethrower? Yeah. Stand back, mate. Where did you get this? Yes. Jesus <laughs> Why didn't we just do this at the start? How is it possible that you're blowing out a flame with gas? I don't know. How is that possible? You literally just blew the flame out with the gas. Well, I didn't think it was going to be this hard to light. Right. Jesus Christ. Now that we've got the fire lit, finally, we can get to preparing the ingredients. What's yeah. next, Chef Molly? We're going to cut this meat. Oh, nice. Get your utensils to cut it. Hang on. <laughs> what am I, Molly? I knew this was coming. What are you? I'm a steak sandwich. <laughs> It never gets old. All right, here we go. Oh, bitch. I'm a steak sandwich now. Get you, how are you gonna cut this meat? I can't see this fucking steak ghoul over my sunglasses, isn't there? Look at this, prime. All right, move all the other shit out of the way. Stuff is about to get industrial. There's only one way to cut meat like this. It's with the chainsaw, I guess. Meat. Not this again. <laughs> <laughs> Are we looking for like a brisket cut or? Just cut it. You want like a fillet? You gotta cut it smaller so it cooks properly. You want, the, you want to get the fat off of it for you? All right. Okay, this, this isn't f***ing working. We're gonna have to like drill it, like screw it to the board, I think. Are you serious? Yeah, it's the only way. We're gonna screw the meat to the board so we can cut it with a chainsaw. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All right, you're gonna have to, you get the steaks in place. Okay. This one's got like dirt and shit all over it. Yeah, well, 
That's how they are caught. How do you think like tigers and shit catch and eat their meat? You think they clean them? No, they eat all the bugs and the AIDS and shit that comes with them in all Africa. Right. Careful, you're gonna f <laughs> All right, not all the way down. All right, come. Yeah, everywhere you want to cut, basically. Bruh. This is innovation. We're gonna end up having to drill the whole fucking cutting board to the table. <laughs> that's, that's an, all right, bro. No. All right, make sure they're lined up. Otherwise, I'm gonna be cutting screws. Well, that's the fun of it. It's up to you to cut it. This isn't fun, Molly. Yes, there is. is no part of this that is fun. All right. What about the old junkie over here? That one's f***ed. No, she's still good, mate. Wait, I haven't finished screwing. Sometimes you don't get a chance to finish screwing, mate. Turn it off. You've done a good job, mate. Thank you. Okay, we need to just, I've got to rinse this f***ing meat off, man. All the wooden shit everywhere. Get it just wash it. It's all gooey. It's all wooden shit. You got a f***ing chopping board all through it. Now you get that meat ready to cook, I'm going to heat the pan. Oh, what, what do I have to do? Just get all the screws and shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we killed a f***ing cow with a nail gun, bro. It is oh, that's a good job. Lube it up. Here you go. Drink for you. Yeah. Drink for you. I don't like Guinness. You would like it. No, I you have no eyes. Yum, 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 yum. Now me drink. Oh my god, that is piss water. <laughs> it's fing foul. Now we have this hot. We're gonna cook that in this. So bring the meat over here, and then we need to wipe down our section so we can start cooking veggies. Yeah, that's that was oh god. Yeah, it's hot, dickhead. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, this is going to be good for us. All right, now we're going to cut the veggies. Are you excited? Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah. You're going to have to get all the screws out. <laughs> going good? Oh, that's some... Get some herbs in there. Yeah. It's going to be f***ing stunning. It's already pretty f***ing stunning. <laughs> What's that, a garden shovel? Yeah. Nice. Thank you. I just basically just want this meat to cook. Oh, it smells like cutting board. <coughs> first things first, we have the meat cooking. It actually looks pretty good. It, do it doesn't look that bad, does no, it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> now we have to cut an onion, one onion, and crush garlic. Okay. And then we're gonna put that in there as well to cook it. All right, stand back. Hold on, that, that was used for the, you can't use the tool used for the meat on the veggies, it's cross-contamination. You're going to, you gotta- You're gonna do kitchen safety now. That yeah, is, this, this is where you're drawing the, the line. Use the saw, it's clean. That's okay. the vegetable cutter. All right, there's a vegetable saw. Call me chef. Dickhead. Chef, dickhead. No, not that. No, just give me the no, Here you go, chef, dickhead. Thank you. Hold my hammer. Thank you, chef, dickhead. <laughs> okay. See that? Yeah. Cutting skills, bro. Oh, chef, dickhead. You are so clever. No, just call me chef. Oh, okay. Chef Molly. Chef Molly. Yeah. All right. I was calling you dickhead. Oh, okay. I'm the chef, dickhead. Hell this for me. You have to call me chef, dickhead. Chef, dickhead. Okay. Be that. I couldn't have done it better myself, chef. Chef Dickhead, thank you. All right, now. You want to dice? Yeah, dice it, yep. Oh, Did you I'm actually- just kidding, I didn't actually hurt myself, YouTube. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. That is what in the business we call slicing. <laughs> the things that you learn, eh? Now, we'll turn it this way and just you want to, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's cutting a little bit. One. Yep. Two. Yep. Three. That'll do. That, that's fine. Let's do the same one and we'll bring it over here and we'll just sprinkle it in. Mate, this is actually do this is actually working. Oh god, the gas. I mean, the smoke is too much for me. I'm wearing my gas mask. My not my gas mask, my mask because the smoke is really strong. So we're just gonna mix this around. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just You're cutting an onion, man. It's not hard. Now the trick to crushing garlic is to do it ever so gently. That's right. Just nice and smooth. Where'd the garlic go? <laughs> oh, here we go. It's, here we go, we've got it, look. <laughs> this will do. I love the efficiency. You use one whole garlic, you get half a gram. Garlic is a very potent uh, vegetable. It's flavorsome. There we go, chuck the garlic in. 
That, oh, beautiful. There you go, chef, dickhead. Put this in there. Now, celery, carrots, and um, what other veggies? That's, I think this is all we got. You're doing a really good job, mate. We don't need that bit's waste. Well, I like mine a little bit thinner. I don't care what you like. It looks pretty good. You're eh? in my kitchen, brother. This is my backyard. Take this celery, put it in there. Hey! Put the celery in there. Beautiful. That, yep. Good job. Didn't that cross contamination? Nah, we gotta clean the, there we go. All right, you wanna get me the peeler? Because we have to peel the carrot. God, that looks like a f***ed up toy. Hey, careful there, Molly. It's actually working. Can hell, it works. It's like a TikTok life hack. That is pretty good. That's actually surprisingly effective. Now we need to cut it. Oh. <laughs> Wow, you really know a lot about this old chef thing, don't you, boss? Yeah. You've been chefing for a while, haven't you, boss? Yeah. One day you'll be like me, mate. I hope so, Chef Molly. Jiminy Jillikas, is that supposed to be so much raw meat all over these vegetables? Eat that. <laughs> Look, our pie's coming together. Look how beautiful this is. Gee whiz. This is pretty good, eh, Chef Molly? Here, let me help you. Yeah, not up to the part where you get to use spoons properly anymore. Let's just rotate this. The next part of the recipe says uh, one can of Guinness. You just put it in there. No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good. No, you're oh, the Guinness in my eye. Now we're just gonna let this boil, basically. That was a pretty good shotgun, eh? That was a good job. Okay, now while that's cooking, we need to start making the cake. I don't know if you noticed, but I never shotgunned a beer before. What do you do now? You want to wipe what your face. Now? Oh, that's making it worse. <laughs> Chef Molly has directed me that we have uh, got this fine little piece here cooking with a little bit of a touch of carrot celery with an Australian fusion. Uh, some power tools, a bit of a tradey secret, eh, there, Molly? That is right. A, a tradey secret. We like to use uh, a chainsaw to get the meat nice and tender. That's the secret. We're just going to leave this and we're going to come over here. Come on, come over here. We flipped this over for health and safety health and reasons. Safety. It's still a bit of a. Uh, it's residue, but it's all right. A bit of residue is okay. Yeah. Well, let's start the cake, shall we? I've got my special recipe right here <clears throat> chocolate magic cake. That looks delicious. This is apparently what we're making. First thing for this recipe, eggs. Just give me the f***ing eggs. No, just stop it. <laughs> give me the f <laughs> Now that we have our fresh eggs, the next thing we need is icing sugar. Thank you. Now that we have our icing sugar, we need our plain flour. Okay, now that we... How much flour did we buy? What the f*** is happening here? Now we need, uh, cocoa powder. Thank you. Okay. Cocoa powder. And then, um, milk. Thank you. You're gonna get flour everywhere. <laughs> you just <laughs> blew out so much flour. That's not flour. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the eggs, the sugar, the flour, the butter, and we're gonna mix it all together with the chocolate. In what? In that. Our big mixing bowl. Oh, man. Eggs. You like how I can crack eggs with one hand? Look at that. Yeah, put the sugar in. Oh, my God. Oh, it looks yum. Yeah, it's getting there. I'm gonna put some milk in. And now we just need flour. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a heavy bag of flour. That's enough, I think, okay. I guess. That seems to be right. We need to melt the butter. You don't have your safety glasses. I think we're past that dose. <laughs> nice one, quit. This is how my granddad used to melt butter. Is it? Yeah. Oh, a bee just flew in it. <laughs> get it out, get it out, get no, the bee out. 
Get the beer. Oh, it's boiling. No, you use boiling. the fucking heat resistant gloves. <laughs> B-movie. It's gonna be a good cake. I'd stick around and watch the whole video. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, me, that's hot. Mmm, that's a yummy GoPro. Mmm. It actually looks like a cake. Whoa, oh my god, it does too. I don't know why people just use cement mixes all the time. They probably need a bit more liquid. There we go. Look at that. It's making me dizzy looking at it. You need to crush this chocolate. We need to break it up. You need to break it up. And we're also gonna add cocoa powder. Let me, where's the hammer? Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, I actually got the lid off in one go. I don't know what to, how, to, how to do it. All right, come with me. I'm gonna, we're gonna put the flavor in. That smells real good. Mm, cementy. For the next part of the cake recipe is we're gonna break up this chocolate. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Ah! Hold it steady, Molly. Molly, hold it steady. Molly, hold it. Hold the table. Hold it steady. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's fine, you did a great job. You did a good, that's fantastic, look at this. Look how evenly this is, look how evenly this is broken up. Whoa, that looks good. That does look good. What the f What's the taste like? It tastes, uh, awesome. All right, now we gotta put the pastry on the pie. Oh, the pie ready? The pie's ready, look at it. The pie's been cooking, look how ready it is. Get down to smell it. it smells pretty good, eh? Mmm. Mm. Bring this over to there so we can finish it. This is puff pastry. It's what you use to put on top of pies. Peel the blue shit off. We're not gonna eat that. Not gonna eat the crust? No. All right. Mm. Mm. Get all the nice gooiness. Mm. Oh, what's the taste like? It's <laughs> tripping on my shit. It's hot. The important part with cooking is to taste as you go. That is right, mate. Bullshit. Really? Actually, it tastes like wooden shit, but <laughs> <laughs> like you can, there's chopping board in, in there. You can feel it. Mmm. Smoked co cooking board, yeah. What are we doing now, Chef Molly? Putting the pie top on, mate. Oh, cool. Look at that. Just need it some of this egg that he threw on me before and we're just gonna use this to baste it. Mm, yummy. See that? It's now egg and makes it go nice and golden brown. All right, now we're just gonna cook the top of the pastry and the pie's done. Beautiful, isn't that good? Mm. Now we just want this to puff, okay? <laughs> no worries, puff daddy. Oh, you're a natural, mate. I've been cooking like this for years, mate. You are a f***ing natural. You want yours medium rare? Well, that, it's not, it's not really how you cook a pie. How are we looking? I can't wait to eat this. Is it done? I, no. See how it's starting to puff? It's called puff pastry for a reason. Look at that. The cake batter has been mixing for roughly 40 minutes, which means it's in its prime state. What do we do now, chef? Well, we're gonna just spray these. And then we're gonna pour the cake mix in here and cook it. All right, cool. Let's do it. Slowly. All right, that's enough. Oh God, it looks like the inside of my butthole. Oh, okay. All right. Chef Molly, we've got, still got leftover cake in there. We, we better fill these to the top. Okay. Wait, do you want some? Do you want to try a bit? No, I've tried it. No, you want to try a little bit out the thing? Yeah, you do. I bet he does. A chef must always taste. I don't. You know, it's not. You don't usually taste cake batter, but Josh is an exception. Mmm, yummy. It's delicious. Was that? 
<laughs> Was that good? I think there's still cement in there. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Here, close your eyes. What is it? <laughs> I think it needs a bit more milk. <laughs> Just a little bit more milk. Look, all apprentices have to go through the shit before they become a chef, mate. What now, Chef Molly? Um, now we've got to cook the cakes because oh. the main's ready to serve and... I feel like I just got bukkake by Andre the Giant. <laughs> you look disgusting. I feel great. You think of the concrete and it would make it harden faster. We didn't wash, we should have probably washed that. <laughs> Wait, I got a heat, I got a heat gun. Oh, you do that side, I'll do this side. I don't feel good about this anymore. That looks pretty good. I don't know what the f that's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a cake, look. At least the, the one centimeter of the top layer is cooked. Cream. Oh, some good cream in there, boy. No, make it nice, sir. That's more berries. That looks like a breakup cake. See, look, it, it, it made cake, look. Yeah, it did. The top layer is actual cake. Oh, skin cake. Um, presentation? Zero. Well, that's not what... Tastes not bad. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is... It's like eating a burn victim's skin. You have to eat it. Don't just sold it in your mouth. Mm. The best part is the skin. That's... <clears throat> this piece of cake is ready. I would love to see Gordon Ramsay say it's not cooked, personally. Tell me that isn't cooked, Gordon Ramsay. The f*** is that? Oh, we're going to put these in the fire and come back to them in a bit. Are we? Yep. Okay. I'm going to put it in there. In a bit. But let's... Um, what about this one? No, nah, f*** that one. Now we have to try the pie. Mmm, trying pie. That smells amazing. Wow, that looks, oh. looks kind of good. Ooh, la la la, what do we call this? Ooh la la, it's beautiful. All right, ready? Anyone else want some? No? Okay. okay mm -hmm. mm. I, look, I was excited before, but now I'm not really not. What the f***? There's bits of dirt in there. The carrot's good. Is it? The carrot's great. <sighs> Overall, I think it's like a solid three. Mm, I love the lawn clippings in there. They're not, that's herbs. The problem is I'm actually hungry, so this is really... Here you go, man, made your sandwich. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> what do you think? Get it out of my face. How are you feeling after today? Good. That was successful cooking. Overall, rankings. Dinner, the pie. The flavour, pretty good. I think. Yeah. Presentation could have been better. Execution could have been a bit better. But we, you know, we, we're working with what we got. Efficiency and overall kitchen tidiness. <sighs> that's like a, that's a one. I think it's not too bad. Kitchen tidiness? Of kitchen tidiness. I think Gordon Ramsay would walk through here and say... Michelin, Michelin star. Yeah, Michelin star for you, fine gentle sir. The cake? Look. I felt good about the cake. I did too when it was get, being mixed, but just cooking it. Um, cooking it, difficult. Tough thing. Sometimes desserts works and sometimes they don't. They no. should have a better way of doing that whole thing. Because the, the instructions are very poor. Well, they do have a better way. It's called an actual oven. We didn't have one of those. We're in the bush. Power tool cooking. Success or not? You decide. Go to the boys.store. Don't look at me like that. All right, see you tomorrow.